What began such soaring values? Blame it on the invasion of the billionaires. It started in 1990 with the explosive renaissance of Miami's South Beach area. Six blocks of abandoned warehouses and dilapidated efficiency hotels got a dazzling multi-million dollar facelift. With newly restored hotels and hotspots, Miami's Ocean Drive fast became the capital of cool. Then in 1991, a German tycoon took a Sunshine State vacation and, off Seoul, plunked down $70 million for real estate, spanning hotels to homes. Miami's largest single investor says for his money, Miami's right on the mark. You got an unbelievable environmental surrounding. You have no smokestack industries that pollute the air. You have no overpopulation. And you have um, 340 days a year sunshine weather. Um, the fourth reason is actually that this is one state in the United States that can be considered a tax haven. We only pay 28% capital gains here and we have no state or um, city taxes so it makes especially for foreigners like me it very reasonable to become an american taxpayer on floridian soul thomas bought eight massive lots on star island paying 4.9 million for homes that cost just sixty thousand dollars back in 73. today each is worth an excess of seven million dollars Along the Golden Gateway to Latin America for Europe and the United States, Miami is now a mecca for moguls. Why jet to Wall Street when you can plug in your fax modem and pass the piña coladas? Kramer says it's the city of the future. I think the potential of Miami is vast. It's unbelievable and uh, not yet discovered. You know, you have to see not only the cost factors, but also what's going to make, you know, living in the future um, achievable. And it's not only money terms, it's not what you can buy for money. It's also life standards in the sense of good weather, um, great environmental situations, no pollution.